Hi, it's Rich from Low and Design. Today, we're gonna to make a replica of the guitar Jimi Hendrix set on fire at the Monterey Jazz Festival, and then we're gonna turn it into a toilet paper holder. Years ago, I made a toilet paper holder out of some old plumbing components, uh, an old air hammer, and some electrical components. This was mounted on the wall in the toilet on the main floor of our house. And was a toilet paper holder. And everybody loved it. When they'd go to the bathroom, there'd be this weird toilet paper to occupy your time. And it has this gauge at the back with a uh, warning shot, stun, quite a lot of pain, horrible, terrible death. And beyond that, even worse. That's my favorite part of the whole thing. Today, we're gonna to build a new toilet paper holder by creating a, an exact replica of the guitar Jimi Hendrix set on fire in Monterey in 1967. And uh, then we'll outfit that as a toilet paper holder and we'll use it in our house. So the guitar came in for the guitar project. Okay, From cool. uh, Stu Max. They call it an S model, which is uh, like a Stratocaster, but they can't say Stratocaster. So neither, you know, so we shan't either. Anyway, it's a whole kit with uh, neck, and body and all the wiring is done in here. It's, it's a nice easy kit to put together. And what you really do is apply the finish for it. There's all these pictures and they're all, you can't really see the colors very well. But he did it with nail polish and uh, painted it in black and red and blue and whatnot. And, and it's the uh, guitar he used for the last song he played at that uh, festival. So I want to take some of the elements, you know, just the feel for it. I don't want to necessarily copy exactly what they did, but I want to have the feel of the guitar from the 60s. And uh, we'll put it all together. And so your job is to finish this guitar, make it beautiful, and make it look like Hendrix's guitar. No problem. I think this little blade is just the one for the job sometimes. gone from a no-name to a Stratocaster. Not that we really want Stratocaster to come and visit us and say, would you please stop? I'm gonna make sure I got all the grooves. Yeah, it's not, uh, not sticking that much, so it's not too dark. That's actually kind of a more. Hard to be more nitpicky in the. See, I thought you took that actually. Oh. It's going on. Okay, sometimes that's how you make it all come and together. Even, so what I would do also is up here, like just get in. Looks good. Yeah, 
Had some luck? Yeah. I looked in the drawer that said sockets. Mm. Get this out of the way now. Thank you. Why do they want us to do everything with a screwdriver, I wonder? I would hope it. And the swack. Go. Oh, are you okay? Are we ready? We are ready. All right. Becoming a thing, you know? Look at that, looks even more like a thing now. Mm -hmm. Just keep turning, turning, turning. What? Do we do we turn, turn, turn? Have you ever seen such a beautiful thing? Oh, that's so cool. Need to put a lot less thought into this when I'm just trying to mess it up, you know? This I'm a little bit worried about getting too deep into, but. Not easy. It's a new age guitar pick. Yeah, yeah. All you right. You just take, ding it on the edge of a table. Do it. <laughs> that looks good. Now, what about the front? There's a huge thing in it now. I don't know. That's cool. Let's do a little more right in this zone. It's all right. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your stain, yeah. No? Nice and the lights right up. Everything's getting crispy. Hey, Joel, what'd you do with your guitar? All right, that's enough, I guess. Keep expecting to hear a string go twang. Oh, that's a melted knob. I love the way these are all bent. They're all melted over and all that. It's perfect. It's pretty cool. And it's really amazing how this, well, it's burnt here a bit. This looks like a toasted marshmallow, this one. Yeah. Yeah, and right in here. It really has the exact perfect look. Good. All this bubbled up and all that, so we don't want to wreck that. We want to maintain that. So do we leave that and then put a finish over it, or do we just leave it? We'll see how much it stinks. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So it needs to be hot right there. Okay.
Look at that 90 degrees. Wow. Just like, perfect. I'm, you know, kind of curious to try it with a roll of toilet paper, but I'm afraid it would go up in flames at this point. <laughs> Here's what we came up with for a stand for the guitar. Just some scraps of maple, cut out a curve for the bottom of the guitar, a hole down here for the strap uh, mount to fit to, and a magnet here that holds the whole thing together. It holds the guitar on there, like that. Clicks in, and the magnet is strong enough to lift the whole thing off the ground. And to turn it into a toilet paper holder, we made ourselves a slightly upsized whammy bar. It fits right in here. Roll of toilet paper. And there we have a guitar toilet paper holder. It's perfectly sized to fit beside a toilet. Great happiness for all. Oh, no! Shut up! I'm kind of busy. <laughs>